and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace, and kindly joining me now is Marion King, Director of Payments for NatWest. Hello, Marion. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome, Hannah. It's lovely to meet you. Now, talking about your job title first, Director mm -hmm. of Payments, it sounds like that carries quite a lot of responsibility. So to start off with, can you tell me a bit about your role? Of course, it, it does carry quite a bit of responsibility. <laughs> Uh, NatWest and the group of banks process about 25% of all payments in the country. So it's a huge volume of payments. So I'm responsible for day-to-day -day operations, making sure that runs smoothly uh, and that our customers are safe and secure. It also includes all external parties, so the relationships with our regulators, with our trade bodies and with our peers across the industry. And then sort of leading up to innovation, business development and the bank-wide strategy. So what are payments going to be next year and in five years' time and beyond that? And what role does the bank want to play and need to play within that process? All right. Well, that certainly sounds like it takes a lot of leadership. Where did you obtain the skills to undertake this role? I think it's fair to say, Hannah, that I've evolved those skills over, over a few decades now um, and really sort of kicked off my career with a 14-year um, career at Reuters, mm -hmm. doing lots of roles and latterly ran the business in Asia. Um, and of particular note, the handover of Hong Kong back to China. I joined the payments industry here in the UK in 2002. And so I think leadership is, is not just managing teams of people. It's about having a vision and an expectation and really understanding the market. And so I've had, what, 17 years now to, to develop that across a number of different roles in the industry. Well, following on from that quite nicely then, you mentioned a changing payments market. Yeah. Um, could you tell me a bit more about that? What do you think of the key themes today in that space? I think the payments market here in the UK and globally is seeing its biggest shift probably since the 1960s. And I think that's largely driven by open banking and a completely new model for how transactions will be managed and supplied to customers. In terms of encapsulating themes, um, I, I use three, three phrases, which is expectation. That's what do our customers expect. It's now real time. It's now now. I want to transact online now, and I expect it to be safe and secure. That didn't exist, you know, 10 years ago. So it's evolved very much so in terms of what customers expect. Innovation, again, we're seeing lots of shift and change, particularly driven by the smartphone and digital, the digital um, shift of payments. And the third one is regulation, where because of that need to be safe and secure, um, because of the risks that we all run around our payments, we have a regulatory environment, which means that we have to you know, comply, and that, that takes a lot of focus as well. So those are the three main themes that I see coming out through in the payments industry right now. And certainly some exciting developments ahead as well. Mm, I think so. And payments is, is interesting because there's quite a lot of tension between the requirements. So if we take customer expectation, we expect it to be real time, but we expect it to be safe. Mm -hmm. And those two things are very difficult to deliver at the same time because the more checks and balances you put in to make sure that, that our payments are secure, you know, that has a trade-off with, with time. And so Payments is all around balancing those things and driving them forward. And, and similarly with open banking, and uh, customers want access to data, they want insights. We see a huge takeoff in the data and analytics arena, mm -hmm. and yet customers want to be private and their data to be, to be controlled. Mm -hmm. So these tensions are challenging, um, and it's very much an ecosystem that where all the players have to participate to make sure those things are delivered. Well, Marianne, thank you so much for sharing your insights. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Likewise, thank you. And thank you for watching.